Maine government, education, and other leaders have begun work on a statewide plan to fight climate change. Ambitious goals have already been set for reducing greenhouse gas emissions, but actually getting it done will be difficult. And today there was renewed criticism of the goals and the Climate Council by young people who say their future is at stake. News Center means Don Kerrigan reports. Whether transportation or industry or just living life, there is growing pressure on Mainers to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in hopes of reducing or slowing climate change. That's why the governor and legislature formed the Climate Council, holding its second meeting today with a big audience watching and hearing a sobering message from scientists about Maine's climate growing steadily warmer over the past century with more to come. It's not just that it feels a little warmer in summertime, it's that the entire structure and duration of the seasons is changing and the natural environment is, is adjusting to that. The governor has set goals for reducing CO2 emissions by 45 percent in 10 years, but young climate activists want change now. Dozens attended the meeting saying the governor's goals aren't enough. So when we say that we demand that achieving zero emissions by the year 2030 be the ultimate and official goal for the state and the Maine Climate Council, those aren't empty words and that isn't an idealistic dream. And besides asking for a statewide climate emergency, the youth groups also want social change to be part of the climate fight, saying corporate interests have too much influence and that minorities, poor people and others are being left out of the climate process. We refuse to allow people who do not represent the, the masses to make decisions that impact and influence our lives. We demand that there be an increase in the representation and leadership opportunities for marginalized and frontline communities on the main Climate Council. Council co-chair Hannah Pingree says they are trying to look out for everyone. I would say um, I think we've worked hard to make sure we're inclusive, but we're always, you know, we want to hear more voices and we want to make sure what comes out is something that's doable for all Mainers. And as for the zero emission in 10 years goal, Pingree says it would be very hard for Maine to be able to eliminate fossil fuels that quickly. Hannah Pingree says the Climate Council will keep working to develop a plan for Maine by the end of this year. Meanwhile, the youth activists say they intend to keep up the pressure to see their demands are met. In Augusta, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. The youth activists say one of their next targets will be to rally at Maine's presidential primary election in March.